Hi there and welcome back to my channel. This is Sean, the Honest Book Reviewer, with another book review. In this video we're discussing Rock, Paper, Scissors, written by Alice Feeney. This is a domestic type thriller, but it's set in an isolated church in Scotland. This church has been renovated to be a home. So this couple have gone there for a weekend. The setting's brilliant, the characters are brilliant, this whole book is brilliant. I loved it. I loved everything about it. From the first page I was hooked. This is such a good book. Everybody should read this. If you love thrillers, you don't have to like domestic thrillers, but thrillers in general, and very clever thrillers as well. There's great twists in here as well. This book is brilliant. So this book mainly follows Adam and Amelia Wright. Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Wright. I know, that's a bit cheesy. That's the only cheesy thing in this story. The rest is very good. So they're going away to Scotland for a weekend. Amelia won a weekend away in Scotland, and they're going to spend the weekend in this renovated, isolated church. It's very isolated. There's really nobody else around. There's one person who's in a nearby cottage. They don't know much about that person. That person's creepy as well. I'll describe that person later. But it's very isolated. There's only sheep around, basically. And to get there is, you know, they're driving through a blizzard, basically, to get there. They're both hiding secrets. Early on, we learn they're hiding secrets. But early on, we also learn they think they know each other's secrets, but do they really? So all this plays into the atmosphere, just the general feeling of the book from the very first page. I like that so much. That first page hooked me. I was hooked straight away in this story. The characters are brilliant from the get-go. The setting they get to that setting, the isolated church, that's brilliant as well. It's so creepy. Inside the church is creepy. There's locked doors, rooms they can't get into, even rooms they're able to live in in this church for the weekend are creepy. There's dust everywhere like it's not being cleaned very well. It's very dim lit. It's just so creepy in this environment. I love that environment so much. The setting is brilliant in this book. And another thing about the characters from the get-go is they're both thinking that if this weekend doesn't work, if they can't reconcile differences on this weekend, only one of them will leave. Both characters are thinking that early on in the story. They have me wondering what's going on in this story. We're going to have some sort of twisted murder in this story. I had no idea what was going to happen. And it just, just drew me into the characters even more and the whole story even more because it was like a mystery. We had this general kind of feeling of unease from the very first page and it was just fascinating and it was so well done. The characters are written so well in this book. I was hooked by something with Adam's character, Adam being the protagonist male in this story. He has face blindness, so when he looks at people's faces, he can't distinguish their features properly. He can't work out who they are. He just sees kind of, it's almost like distortion. And that was interesting because that plays right through the story. It's so consistent as you so well in the plot. Even when he looks at his wife, he can't recognize her. It's her tone of voice. It's what she says that he thinks about. He, she, he can't read faces. So when it's his chapters and in this book we switch between character points of view. So when it's his point of view, it's not about her facial expression. It's all about her tone of voice. I found that fascinating because it was a different way to see a character in a story. So in a lot of stories, characters look at other characters' facial expressions. And so the reader gets a lot from that. But in this book, we have to just look at tones of voice, not at facial expressions. That was fascinating to me. On the first night in this renovated church, Amelia thinks she sees someone staring at her through the window. So creepy in this isolated environment. But then other things start happening as well. That was very creepy indeed. And things that started happening are like lights going off, being trapped in a cellar, all different types of things. And it was so well done in this story. Just generates more atmosphere, more creepiness in the book. Who was that person? Or was it a person at all? Because it could have been a sheep. Because there's sheep all around this church at night as well. So we don't know at this stage. And that was so fascinating to me because I was wondering all through the story, who could it be? Could it be this person in the cottage? Because they thought there was a strange woman in the cottage. And when they go to that cottage later on in the story, there is a woman there, but she won't answer her door. When they knock, she won't answer. That's creepy as well. Because, you know, is this woman kind of looking at them? Is she, you know, following them, stalking them? Who knows? Because it's just everything so well done in this story. There's doubt. There's mystery. Suspense. There's tension. There's so much going on in this book. I loved it so much. Adam, using his face blindness in this book was brilliant. It'd be one of those things to have in a character 
That could be done in a good way or a bad way. In this book, it was amazing. He's so real, he feels so consistent, everything about him feels like a real person. So I really found that fascinating how the author was able to bring that condition of face blindness into a character and make it feel so real. Because it'd be easy, I think, to make it feel cheesy. But it's not in this book. I think it was brilliantly done. I think without that thing in this book, this book wouldn't work. And if that wasn't working so well, this book would have been a disaster. Amelia. Out of the two main characters, Adam and Amelia, I found Amelia the least likable. That's because I think sometimes she comes across as a bit cruel. There are times Adam can be cruel as well, but Amelia, just the little things she does, little temper tantrums, little things that happen with them both in this isolated environment, and we get a bit of history about them as well, she just comes across as a little bit cruel, a little bit suspicious. So out of the two main characters, it's Amelia for me that is engaging still, very engaging indeed, and a well-written character, but the least likable for me. But when I look at her in the story, she's so consistent, she feels so real as well. She's so well written, so well done in this book. Both of them just play off each other so well. Both characters are amazing. Robin, so the mysterious lady in the cabin, we learn that her name is Robin. We do get point of view chapters from her as well. We do find out things about her. Now, she's mysterious, very creepy in the book. She's just built up as a character as the story goes on. I'm not going to tell you too much about her because if I tell you a lot about this character, it may ruin bits of the story for you. But she is mysterious. She is creepy. She is strange. But there's all reasons for that. So I like this character a lot. I liked her point of view chapters because they were a bit strange. They're a bit off kilter to the rest of the story, but they work so well. This book is simply amazing. I can't say enough good things about it. It's a brilliant story. I rate this a 5 out of 5. Alice Feeney as an author, I think she can delve into characters and make them feel creepy. She can make settings feel creepy. She can bring all different atmosphere into the story. She has a way of making characters feel real consistent and just making them feel so genuine. They feel so real. They feel like they're breathing in the book. That's how real these characters are. And I don't know, there's not a lot of authors that can do that, I think. But Alice Feeney can do that in this type of thriller. Maybe it's genre type. So maybe there are other authors in different genres who can do it as well. I'm sure there are. But in domestic thrillers, I think it's very difficult sometimes for authors to make characters feel as real as this. But Alice Feeney just does it, I think, effortlessly in a lot of her stories. On my channel, I review many thrillers. If you enjoy thrillers, check out my channel and subscribe. On the screen now is a link to a video for another book I'm sure you'll enjoy.